Which of the presidential candidates are religious? How religious are they? And does it really matter? Apparently these questions are important to some people, and the answer to the last one is a definite yes for Christians of the religious right, such as the CEO of the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association, Franklin Graham. He made such a claim during an interview on MSNBC's Morning Joe. Some of the highlights of his comments include his expressed doubt regarding the religious beliefs of President Barack Obama and his praise of GOP candidates such as Rick Santorum. Regarding the president, Graham refused to do anything but leave doubts regarding Obama's faith. He said, All I know is I'm a sinner and God has forgiven me for my sins. Obama said he's a Christian, so I just have to assume that's what he is. When pressed to be less vague, Graham still refused to do anything but make ambiguous comments. However, while discussing Rick Santorum's faith, he said that, quote, His values are so clear on moral issues, no question about it. I just appreciate the moral stances he takes on things. I think he's a man of faith. Are tattoos the newest way of expressing a religious faith? Members of the Ecclesia Church in Houston, Texas, seem to think that tattoos are a great way of expressing their religious faith. They're even preparing to publicly display their own tattoos in an art exhibit intended just for Lent. Chris Say, a pastor at the Houston Church, has called on members to have permanent tattoos made on their arms that would depict symbolic designs of Jesus' crucifixion and death. This is apparently the latest installment in what has been an ongoing tradition. Members are known to enjoy coming up with some artistic representation of the story of Jesus every year during Lent. While a mix of excitement and reservation has been expressed by various onlookers, the ever-increasing number of volunteers indicates that the church's members show no lack of enthusiasm. However, Say has stated that next year a more conventional art form, perhaps crocheting, will be promoted. Catholic priests are kidnapped in Sudan. On January 15th, two Catholic priests were abducted at gunpoint by Islamic militiamen supported by the Sudanese government. This is viewed as part of a campaign to rid Sudan of all Christians. The kidnappings occurred amid a wave of militia attacks, abductions, and forced conscription campaigns being carried out against Sudanese Christians and in and around Khartoum and Rabak. Meanwhile, in South Sudan, at least three Islamic militia groups are rebelling against the newly formed government. These groups are supported by the president of Sudan, Omar al-Bashir, who is wanted by the International Criminal Court for Crimes Against Humanity in Darfur. The two priests, Reverend Joseph Makwe and Reverend Sylvester Moggs, were released two weeks later after being kidnapped. They have been beaten and psychologically tortured. Further details have not been revealed. President al-Bashir has proclaimed his country to be an Islamic nation and declared that the Constitution will be based on Islamic laws. Mormons are baptizing Holocaust victims again. The well-known Mormon practice of proxy baptisms of deceased persons has created embarrassment for the Mitt Romney campaign. A recent headline in the Washington Post proclaimed, Ellie Wiesel calls on Mitt Romney to make Mormon church stop proxy baptism of Jews. Elie Wiesel, a Holocaust survivor, and others began demanding a stop to such activities when they first learned that 600,000 to 650,000 dead Jews had been baptized posthumously. LDS church officials had officially agreed to stop the practice, but either continued it discreetly or have restarted the practice. Wiesel even learned that his name is on a list of people Mormons plan to baptize upon their death. Weasel does not believe Romney has any personal involvement in this practice. However, he and numerous others wonder why the politician has not spoken against it. Weasel recently said he received a call from a Mormon official who apologized and promised it would never happen again, at least not to Weasel's family. <laughs> 